Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Anthony Davis has honest admission about Lakers fans. Anthony Davis has been a member of the Los Angeles Lakers for five seasons and has experienced plenty of ups and downs. He knows how loyal and vocal the team's fan base is and how much they expect from him. In a video shared by Adel Del Toro on Twitter, Davis is shown suggesting that Lakers fans are a lot like a roller coaster, but he still loves them. Davis clearly feels that Lakers fans are a bit dramatic and obsessed and few people would argue with that. They have always been a wildly devoted fan base and are never afraid to share their opinions. When things are going well, they are the first to cheer for their squad but when things are going poorly, they will step up to criticize right away. Davis should buckle up for perhaps the most wild season yet because Lakers fans are going to have a lot to talk about. The team's front office hasn't made any moves so far this summer, aside from drafting Dalton Connect and Bronny James. They also hired new head coach J.J. Redick, but they have not acquired any free agents. That has left fans very nervous, especially after the team was pushed out of the playoffs in the first round just months ago. There is a chance that Redick makes the current roster work and turns them into true Western Conference challengers. But no matter how things go, the fans of the Lakers will be sharing their opinions, both good and bad, all season long. Lakers News, Kobe Bryant Staples Center Locker Being Auctioned by Sotheby's Sotheby's in New York has announced that bidding has begun on the Staples Center Locker of Los Angeles Lakers legend Kobe Bryant. The locker carries an estimate of between $1 to $1.5 million as part of Sotheby's Altitude Capsule Collection and bidding is open through August 2. The locker was discovered by a maintenance worker in 2018 during Staples Center renovations. The entire Lakers locker room was set to be disposed, but the worker saved it from being tossed out. The locker would eventually be purchased by a collector who also owned Kobe's original locker nameplate. Brom Wachter, Sotheby's head of modern collectibles, spoke on the importance of the locker and why it is such a treasured item. Kobe Bryant's locker at the Staples Center is more than just a piece of memorabilia, it's a sacred relic of his unparalleled journey, Wachter said. This locker was Kobe's sanctuary amidst triumphs and challenges, a witness to the highs and lows of a storied career. Every achievement and hardship left its mark within these walls. Its appearance now at auction symbolizes a rare opportunity to own a unique piece of Kobe's legacy. Kobe used this locker through most of his career, with Sotheby's having photo documentation spanning from 2003 until 2016. As such, this locker was where Kobe celebrated such milestones as his legendary 81-point night and the Lakers' thrilling win over the Boston Celtics in the 2010 NBA Finals. A portion of the proceeds from this sale will go towards the Los Angeles Lakers Youth Foundation, the official charity of the franchise. The foundation's mission is to help underserved youth develop their potential by providing positive experiences and resources in education, health and wellness, and sports. The locker will be on display in Sotheby's New York galleries from July 26 until July 30 next to other legendary sports items such as a Diego Maradona autograph game-worn jersey from the 1986 World Cup and a pair of shorts Michael Jordan wore in his final game. Of course, Kobe Bryant's legacy continues to live on through many of today's top NBA players who grew up idolizing the Lakers legend. One of those players is Paul George, who signed a max deal with the Philadelphia 76ers this offseason. With his new team comes a new jersey number and George chose to wear number 8 in honor of Kobe who was not only his idol, but also played high school basketball in Philadelphia as well. George said he had to do it while adding that it was his way of idolizing Kobe Bryant. NBA Rumors, Lakers still among group of teams linked to Cam Johnson trade. The NBA free agency frenzy has slowed down drastically over the last couple of weeks. Still, some teams, including the Los Angeles Lakers, continue exploring the market. The Lakers missed out on several stars, including Klay Thompson, 
and they require adding talent to the roster to try and make another playoff run. The Brooklyn Nets have already traded away Mikal Bridges, and Cam Johnson could be the next player moved in Brooklyn. The Lakers are one of several teams still linked to Johnson, per Clutch Point's NBA insider, Brett Siegel. Remaining in the Eastern Conference, the Brooklyn Nets are another team taking a step back and looking to rebuild to ensure future success. After trading Bridges, the Nets and general manager Sean Marks have signaled to the rest of the league that they are willing to move their talents for the right price. Ben Simmons, who is entering the final year of his contract and set to make $40.3 million, holds zero trade interest around the NBA this offseason, league sources told Clutch Points. It is possible that a team looking to clear up immediate cap space for 2025 could want an expiring contract like Simmons ahead of the trade deadline. Cam Johnson, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Boyan Bogdanovich are the three forwards teams around the league are labeling as the next names to be on the move. Out of this grouping of players, Johnson is the one generating the most interest. In addition to the Kings inquiring about Johnson, the Rockets, Lakers, Cleveland Cavaliers, and San Antonio Spurs have been linked to the former first-round pick, sources said. Michael Scotto of Hoops Hype has also reported that the Toronto Raptors have shown interest in Johnson. If they look for a more affordable option, Finney Smith would be a plausible target for IME Udoka and the Rockets. Other teams who have shown interest include the Raptors, Rockets, Kings, Cavs, and Spurs, per Siegel's latest intel. And, many Nets players could be moved as they enter another chapter in the rebuild. Siegel also mentions that Dorian Finney-Smith and Boyan Bogdanovich are other trade options for the Nets, and Ben Simmons is a tough one given his deflating interest across the NBA. But, Johnson is the favorite for many teams in the league, and for a number of reasons. Johnson had been linked to the Lakers previously, so it's no surprise that his name is mentioned again for L.A. The 2019 first-round draft choice began his career with the Phoenix Suns before being traded to the Nets in the Kevin Durant blockbuster trade. In 2023-2024, he played in 58 games, averaging 13.4 ppg with 4.3 rebounds and 2.4 assists, so he can provide quality minutes to a number of teams across the NBA. The Lakers' options are quickly dwindling, and Spencer Dinwiddie agreed to a one-year deal with the Dallas Mavericks on Monday. The trade targets across the league are fewer than before, so Rob Palinka and company might not have many choices left at this juncture. With Summer League at its end, Johnson might be on the move at some point soon. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Cam Johnson? Leave your opinion in the comments.